Hi, hey everyone. If the position of a particle is given by this equation here, uh, we're going to find first the point at which the particle changes direction. So first we're going to do the point at which particle changes directions. All right, and then we're also going to find the interval of time in which the particle is slowing down. So basically, let's go ahead and take uh, the derivative. So x prime of x, or t, equals your velocity of t. And that's going to equal 3t squared minus 24t uh, plus 36. Now, so that's the derivative basically, and to we're going to set it to 0 to solve for t. So we have 0 equals, I'm going to pull out a 3, so you get uh, t squared minus 8t plus 12, and factor divide by 3, so the 3 goes away. So we're going to have t minus 2 and t minus 6 equals 0. Therefore, we have t equals 2 or t equals 6. Now, we're actually seeing uh, find the point at which the particle changes directions. So what I'm going to do is take the um, x prime of t, which is actually your acceleration of t, and when you do that, take it from here, you're going to get 6t minus 24. Now, we need to check to see the acceleration is not 0. So when you plus, set this to 0, you're going to get um, 6t minus 4. So at 0, it's t equals 4. It's not t equals 2, and it's not t equals 6. So that means it is changing directions at t equal 2 or t equals 6. Now we want to find the time interval during which the particle is slowing down. So basically, what we want to do is look between... Um, we have t equals 2 and t equals 6. So we want to look, but we can start at 0. And we want to um, also go uh, from 2 to 4 because of our critical point uh, of our acceleration. And then we're going to go 4 to 6 and then go from uh, t is greater than 6. S uh, 6, sorry. Now basically, you just take your equations and plug them in. So the, the velocity, which is going to be um, 3t squared minus 24t plus 36. So we want to know if it's positive or negative. So if I plug a 1, so I'm going to pick, choose 1 here, because that's between 0 and 2. I plug in 1, and I'm going to get um, 3 minus 24 plus 36. You don't actually have to add it all up. Just know that this is positive, because you can tell 39 is bigger than 24. So I'm going to put, at that interval, it is positive, the velocity. Now let's check 3. If I plug in 3, uh, V of 3, you're going to get 3 times 3 squared minus 24 times 3 plus 36. Alright, so when you plug all that in, um, you're going to find that it turns, it's negative. And 9 times 27 and this is a pretty big number, so you can just do that. Now, let's plug in, let's try 5. 
you plug in 5, um, that 2 is going to be negative. Now if we want to go bigger than 6, I'm going to plug in 6. I don't want to plug in 6, sorry. I want to plug in a number bigger than 6, so I'll try 7. and that's going to end up being positive. All right. Now you do the same thing for acceleration. Um, our acceleration was um, 60 minus 24 and this one we can do more mentally. If I plug in 1 again that's going to end up being negative and if I plug in, let's see, 3 so that's going to be that's going to be negative. If I plug in three, that's going to be uh, eighteen minus twenty-four. That's still going to be negative. If I plug in five, I'm going to have thirty minus twenty-four. That's going to be positive. And if I plug in seven, that's also going to be positive. So you can just do it mentally. So what we have is at, for the velocity on the interval 0 to 2, the velocity and the acceleration have um, opposite signs. That means the particle speed is slowing down. Here, since the signs are the same, that means the particle speed is increasing, um, slowing down here, increasing here. So what we need to know is whenever the uh, let's see da, 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 between the fourth and sixth seconds it is also slowing down um, so that's that's about it so you need to know your um, positive and negative so if it's the same the same signs There's, it's speeding, the particle is speeding up, and if the signs are opposite, it's slowing down. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Oh,